And then came the most important moment, December 19th, 2025. Closest approach. On October 30th, 2025, something survived what should have killed it. Interstellar Comet 3I Atlas passed within 140 million kilometers of the sun and didn't disintegrate. Most comets, they'd be vaporized. This one, it's still here. Now, Harvard physicist Avi Loeb has identified 12 anomalies that suggest this might not be a comet at all. No hydroxyl signatures, no cyanogen, unusual nickel ratios, jets of material that don't match any comet we've ever seen. And on December 3rd, 2025, ESA's XMM Newton Telescope detected X-ray emissions that make this mystery even stranger. Is 3I Atlas a natural comet from another star system? Or something else entirely? By the end of this video, you'll have all the evidence to decide for yourself. Before we dive into the controversy, let's understand what makes 3I Atlas so extraordinary. On October 29th and 30th, 2025, this comet reached perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, at 1.36 astronomical units. That's about 140 million kilometers. Here's the thing, most comets that venture this close, they either disintegrate completely or show massive structural damage. The sun's radiation at that distance is absolutely brutal. But 3I Atlas? It survived. Intact. Still active. On November 26, 2025, the Gemini North Observatory captured this image, showing a bright greenish coma still surrounding the nucleus. That green color? That's diatomic carbon. Proof this thing is still outgassing, still behaving like an active comet. Now, this is only the third confirmed interstellar object we've ever detected visiting our solar system. First was Oumuamua in 2017, that cigar-shaped mystery that sparked years of debate. Second was 2I Borisov in 2019, which looked and acted like a normal comet. And now, 3I Atlas. Unlike comets born in our solar system, 3I Atlas came from interstellar space, from another star system entirely. It's been traveling through the void between stars for potentially millions of years before gravity pulled it toward our sun. <clears throat> right now, as I'm recording this in mid-December 2025, you can actually see it between the stars Denebola and Regulus in the Lion constellation. It's approaching its closest point to Earth on December 19th at 1.8 astronomical units. So we have an interstellar visitor that survived what should have destroyed it, and it's passing through our cosmic neighborhood right now. That alone would be fascinating. But then Harvard physicist Avi Loeb started looking at the data, and that's where things get really interesting. Avi Loeb isn't a fringe voice. He's a Harvard astronomer, former department chair, and one of the most published scientists in astrophysics. And his claim about 3I Atlas is simple but explosive. Based on the data we have, the odds of this being a normal comet may be under 1%. Not because of one weird measurement, but because multiple independent observations don't line up. First, chemistry. 3I Atlas lacks key cometary signatures like hydroxyl and cyanogen. Its nickel to iron ratio is extreme, and its water isotope ratios don't match any known comet family. Second, physics. It shows non-gravitational acceleration without enough visible outgassing to explain it. Its polarization and thermal emission don't resemble icy bodies we've studied before. Third, structure and behavior. 
It survived perihelion without measurable mass loss, shows unusually collimated jets, and may even display material oriented sunward, something standard models struggle to explain. Each of these on its own might be survivable. Taken together, Loeb argues they form a pattern. His hypothesis is not, this is aliens, it's that we shouldn't assume this is natural by default. In early December 2025, ESA's XMM Newton Telescope observed three eye atlas in X-rays. Yes, comets can emit X-rays. That part isn't shocking. But the energy distribution of these emissions doesn't cleanly match standard charge exchange models for an object at this distance and composition. NASA's New Star also collected higher energy data around the same window. Combined analyses are still ongoing, but early results suggest something more complex than a simple icy coma interacting with solar wind. And then came the most important moment, December 19th, 2025. Closest approach. Today, 3i Atlas makes its closest pass by Earth. Right now, it's about 168 million miles, 270 million kilometers away. That may sound distant, but in astronomical terms, this is the single best opportunity we'll ever have to study it. This geometry matters. At closest approach, telescopes get their highest signal-to-noise data. Spectral lines sharpen. Subtle temperature differences become measurable. Weak gases and trace materials that were invisible before can finally stand out. This is when scientists can test the big questions. Is the coma really dominated by carbon dioxide? Do the isotope ratios confirm it formed outside our stellar neighborhood? Are the thermal patterns consistent with an icy body or something denser? It's also the best moment to measure non-gravitational forces precisely. If radiation pressure or outgassing is pushing 3i Atlas, this is when the effect is easiest to isolate. Even tiny deviations matter. At this distance, orbital tracking becomes accurate enough to rule out entire classes of explanations. And this window is brief. From this point on, 3i Atlas is already receding. Every hour it gets dimmer, harder to resolve, and less cooperative. There are no second chances. The James Webb Space Telescope observed three I Atlas with instruments capable of detecting trace molecules, surface temperature gradients, and non-standard materials. As of now, that data is still under analysis. No official conclusions yet. But whatever three I Atlas is, we are no longer guessing in the dark. So here's where we stand right now. 3i Atlas is an interstellar object with multiple measurements that don't fit neatly into what we expect from a typical comet. Some scientists see unusual but explainable physics. Others, like Avi Loeb, argue the odds of it being purely natural are extremely low. And today, we're finally getting the best data we'll ever have. The next analyses could confirm this is just an exotic comet from another star, or force us to rethink what we're looking at. So I want to know what you think. Natural but unusual? Or something that deserves a completely new category? Drop your take in the comments. If one anomaly stands out to you, say which one. And if you want updates as soon as the new data is released, subscribe. I'll cover it the moment we know more. This is Travel and Shield. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.